Hey guys, here we have a Core i7 test machine I put together recently. The BIOS screen tells us it's a Core i7-2600 and we also have 16 gigs of RAM. Using a USB floppy drive, I installed MS-DOS 6.22 onto the hard drive and I'm using an older PS2 keyboard and mouse as they work better with these old DOS games. Now all of this is nothing new. DOS and many DOS games do run just fine on modern machines. But what is new is that for the first time we have working AdLib sound. Here are some examples recorded with the microphone hooked up to my camera. Guys, this is a real breakthrough. So far we could only use the PC speaker on a machine like this. So how is this possible? This is the device that makes it all possible. Sedaco from Belgium has designed and developed a soldering kit for a printer or parallel port Adlib music device that comes with the legendary Yamaha OPL2 chip. Here we take a look at the kit. We can see all sorts of components like resistors, capacitors, chips and so on. This is what the PCB looks like. So I quickly put it all together and did some soldering. There are instructions you can download from the website. And although I do enjoy a bit of soldering, I didn't have too many issues, but I had to slow down and triple check everything when I realized that some of the components on the photos had a different color. The components were labeled, but some writing was a little bit hard to read. So this is an area that could be improved. Once everything is soldered, you just plug the device into the parallel port of your machine. Now the latest and greatest machines might not have one and really using the i7 is just to show what's possible. So if you've got anything older, you will likely have the printer port. A couple of things are not included. You do need a mini USB cable to power the device. I would have preferred a micro USB connector simply because I have a lot more micro USB cables lying around. It also doesn't come with those little screws to secure the device to the printer port. There's a headphone port to connect your speakers and also a volume dial. In MS-DOS we need EMS memory and also load a small driver which takes up only 1k of memory. The unit sells for 30 euros as a soldering kit and for 50 euros Sodaco will solder everything for you. Regarding compatibility not every game I tried worked but that is likely to do with using an i7. A few games could be fixed by switching off the level 1 cache but Doom for example was a game that wouldn't give me any music. So to wrap it up this is a really cool device. I've been told the unit I received is close to the final version, so I'm eager to hear from you guys about your unit if you decide to get one. Again, using the i7 for this video is really to show the possibilities and of course to make a fun video. I see the device mostly for use with old laptops, the compatibility is much greater than our Covox device for example and of course it sounds a lot nicer. If you have an older machine that doesn't work well with DOS PCI sound cards, then you might also find this device quite useful. So there you have it. Let me know what you think of this device in the comments, but otherwise that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like and spread the word about this cool gadget. Thanks for watching and I shall see you soon with another one.